Ubuntu and Linux Mint are the top two Linux distros that come to mind when you want a stable, user-friendly and polished Linux distribution for your desktop or laptop. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are very close to each other and at the same time, miles apart. The brand new Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and the newest Linux Mint 20 are power-packed releases, both coming with noticeably faster performances than their previous versions. They both come with improved visuals, faster boot-up times and overall, the newest versions of Ubuntu and Linux Mint are better than ever. But which one gives you better performance? Which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Ubuntu 20.04 or Linux Mint 20? Let's find out. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Linux Mint 20 comes with Cinnamon 4.6. Now Cinnamon desktop environment is the biggest reason Linux Mint is loved by millions. Cinnamon is really gorgeous to look at. The desktop environment hits the sweet spot between being aesthetically pleasing and being highly usable. Unlike Ubuntu's GNOME desktop, Cinnamon stays out of the user's way during the workflow. This combination of elegant visuals and a workflow which promotes a high degree of productivity is what makes Linux Mint downright stunning. The menu looks good and is very easy to use with applications set up category-wise and a really fast search. A minimal panel at the bottom has everything you need. The workflow here is as intuitive and streamlined as it could get. And talk about simplicity. A Linux newcomer can just start using this system. There is no learning curve involved here. Everything here is as simple as it can get. Even for Linux newcomers who have switched from Windows feel a lot at home with Linux Mint. Looks wise, you get an absolutely elegant desktop. Cinnamon desktop is rather on the lower side of glitter like colorful elements and animations. They are there, but not too much. Visually, Linux Mint is like a 3-piece suit. Not a lot of colors, but man, does it look good. There's a lot of scope for customization here. You can tweak the theme, icons, applets, desktops, and there are a ton of all these, courtesy of the amazing Linux Mint community. You can browse, download, and apply them with just a few clicks. Overall, Linux Mint provides a clean and gorgeous desktop, which is also highly productivity-oriented. Talking about Ubuntu 20.04, we get a customized GNOME 3.36 here. This particular version gives us a retouched desktop with better color scheme. Ubuntu has changed the primary color to purple and the icon pack has some improvements which together add a fine polished look to the desktop. We also get a dark mode now which makes everything that better. GNOME desktop is pure eye candy. It's made to catch your eye and impress. The effects here are really slick and they make the desktop look very premium. It's one of the highest used desktop environments altogether because it's so good. Ubuntu adds in its own branding and customization to this desktop, and it does this well. Stock GNOME looks very different from this, but Ubuntu's GNOME is much easier to use straight out of the box. It also looks exceptionally good. On the standard theme, it's appreciable how good the desktop looks with clean and defined elements. The new Ubuntu has a great selection of wallpapers pre-installed. The desktop layout, the workflow, how you interact with your computer, all these things are radically different on both these distros. Linux Mint has a familiar, simple layout. Ubuntu on the other hand goes for a more radiant look. You might like one, I might like the other. But both are really refined as far as the UI is concerned. So they both get a point each here. Next we'll be having a look at the performance of the two operating systems. Yes, there is a performance difference between Ubuntu and Linux Mint. But before that, let's have a look at the performance improvements that the new Ubuntu brings. Ubuntu 20.04 and all the distros based on it, including Linux Mint 20, boot up faster than previous versions due to the implementation of the new LZ4 decompression algorithm. Its GNOME desktop now utilizes GPU memory more efficiently than before and delivers a smoother interaction experience. This version of Ubuntu is way faster than the last LTS release, that is 18.04 as the benchmarks have shown. The good folks at Foronix conducted 199 benchmark tests pitting Ubuntu 20.04 against 18.04 and 20.04 came up in 73% of the times. And even when it lost, it was not too far behind with respect to how it scored. 
to give you an overall summary of how better Ubuntu 20.04 is than the older LTS. 18.04 had a geometric mean of 33 across all the tests, while Ubuntu 20.04 scored an amazing geometric mean of 42. Now that is impressive. We also get NVIDIA driver version 440 now, which has shown considerable improvements in gaming performance. So yeah, both Ubuntu 20.04 and Linux Mint 20 are performance powerhouses. But how do they compare against each other? On higher configuration hardware, both Ubuntu and Linux Mint show an identical performance. But on low-end hardware and even some mid-range hardware, a slight difference in the performance between Linux Mint and Ubuntu can be noticed. This is mainly due to the fact that Linux Mint's Cinnamon desktop is lighter than Ubuntu's GNOME desktop. Ubuntu's desktop is more resource intensive than Cinnamon because of its glittery animations and stuff. This makes Linux Mint more responsive than Ubuntu on lower end hardware. But this performance boost of Linux Mint over Ubuntu is only visible on lower end hardware and on small tasks such as opening applications, switching between them and so on. Intensive tasks such as compiling, gaming and rendering will behave the same on both the distros. I'll give the performance point to Mint because it is slightly better for older, less powered computers. Before we get into the question of stability, you should know that Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. So at the core, Ubuntu and Linux Mint are pretty much the same. They both are extremely stable and dependable. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are made with home users as the focus, so they provide a very solid computing experience. Both of these are very suitable for students, developers, professionals and businesses. There are long-term support versions, both supported till 2025, so you can install and use these with peace of mind. Both the operating systems provide a high degree of usability to the users. Ubuntu was initially dubbed Linux for humans. This sentence speaks a lot about what Ubuntu is, what its driving principles are. Ubuntu makes Linux accessible to everybody. Anybody can install Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Installing software on them is easy and most day-to-day -day operations, settings, basic customizations are all simple on both the distros. As far as the ease of usage is concerned, Ubuntu and Linux Mint score top points. Linux Mint uses software from Ubuntu repositories, which are huge and contain a large number of software. You can get pretty much anything you want here. What happens here is, Ubuntu has a large collection of software on its servers. Ubuntu, Linux Mint and all the other Ubuntu based distros download and install the same copy of the software from exactly the same source slash servers or repositories as we Linux people call them. Now pretty much any Linux software you want will be available on these repositories. The software here will be extensively tested for stability and other things. So when you install this software, you can trust them to work flawlessly. You can install software from PPAs too. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or trusted maintainers. Using these, you can install software which are not available in the official repositories and also newer versions of the software available in the repositories. All the software are managed by the apt package manager. On top of that, Ubuntu with the 20.04 release has started prioritizing another software format called the Snap. Now these snaps are a new approach by Canonical, Ubuntu's parent company to create universal Linux software package. While the vision of snaps is really appreciable and something that I'm personally optimistic about, they are not really awesome practically. Compared to the app software, which we discussed a few moments ago, snaps are larger in size, slow to start and require more resources to run. The older and less powered your computer, the more visible these unfavorable traits become. But you get some newer apps only in the snap format. Ubuntu has been prioritizing these snaps in its software store now. While it's not forcing you to install and use snaps, many people dislike this move. I think there should be a switch to turn off snap apps in the software manager. Linux Mint on the other hand has completely stripped off the snap concept with the latest version. I really like this step taken by Mint. The software manager on Mint is very organized and simple to use. Overall, both the new Ubuntu and Linux Mint have best-in-class software availability. Ubuntu and Linux Mint both are great choices for gaming. Ubuntu is officially supported by Steam and since Linux Mint is Ubuntu under the hood, Steam and Steam games run just fine on it too. 
As far as gaming is concerned, Linux Mint and Ubuntu are pretty much the same and there isn't anything gaming related that will give one an advantage over the other. You can use Steam's new Proton feature to play top Windows exclusive games on Linux without any whine or play on Linux configuration hassle. You can literally just install Windows exclusive games from Steam and they just run. Yup, we are here. But this does not work for all the games. Check out ProtonDB for game details. And the newest Nvidia driver 440, which is provided on both these distros, makes gaming on Linux so much better. The gaming performance with this new driver has improved a lot in terms of quality and FPS. Ubuntu and Linux Mint would definitely be my top choices for gaming on Linux. Ubuntu has one of the best documentations and any issues you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Almost any documentation or self-help guide written for Ubuntu will be applicable to Linux Mint 2. So this advantage of Ubuntu is an advantage for Linux Mint 2. Not to mention the loyal community that Linux Mint itself has. The basics like installation guide, user and troubleshooting guides are written in a very beginner friendly way and available in multiple languages on the Linux Mint official website. There is also a forum on which a wide variety of topics are covered. This can be really useful if you have specific issues. Pretty much any help you need with Mint and Ubuntu, pretty much any issue you face can be solved with a single Google search. Both Linux Mint and Ubuntu get a pointage for community support. Ubuntu and Linux Mint have the same simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install both of these in 15 minutes. Once the installation is done, installing the drivers for your graphics card and other drivers is really simple. AMD and Intel integrated drivers are pre-installed in both. Nvidia GPU driver can be installed easily from the menu. Personally speaking, I love both Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Ubuntu is a great distro which revolutionized the way Linux is consumed. It made Linux accessible to millions of people. It also enabled the not so tech savvy people to install and use Linux. And Ubuntu provides a great computing experience too. Ubuntu 20.04 is the best iteration yet. Now Linux Mint used this amazing distro as the foundation and built on it. Polished it and made something beautiful out of it. Linux Mint just feels so much more natural. It has maintained a simplicity that is really appreciable. In a time where technology is changing and evolving every day, Linux Mint provides you a consistent and up-to-date computing experience that you'll just fall in love with. Out of all the Ubuntu-based Linux distros, Linux Mint is the most popular one and it rightly deserves to be. And at times, it does outshine Ubuntu. And for today, the winner is Linux Mint 20. So go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both these distros is given in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, do consider hitting the subscribe button below. Also, do check me out on Patreon and help me make more Linux videos. Next up, check out the all new Pop OS, which is another great Ubuntu based distro that is turning heads. Well, that's it for today. This is Linux Techs signing out.